Hello and welcome to Ashra Reviews in English, another TLDR look at what I've reviewed where I force myself to say something good, something bad, what I think is the best, and what I think is the worst, all in my own opinion. And today it's the Kiwi Ears Forteza. Um, these IEMs are sent to you by Linsol, no affiliation with Linsol, you can find out more by checking out the full review, which is linked in the description, or just head over to ashrareviews.com. Okay, starting off with something good. Um, I've actually found that these, these IEMs, the mid-bass, I'm somebody who gets fatigued by mid-bass, well, I get fatigued by excessive mid-bass that is not well controlled. And these IEMs sort of have a roll-off in the upper mid-bass, which allows some of the tracks that I find fatiguing on a lot of sets to actually sound quite clear and articulate, which is a good thing, but it leads me to a bad thing, which is the sub-bass, in my opinion on these, is excessive. Now, it doesn't do a terrible job of keeping up with the sub-bass, but you can tell that it's not as clean and clear as it would be with tracks that do have a lot going on in the sub-bass region. Now, I usually don't get fatigued by sub-bass. It's very strange that I get fatigued by sub-bass. It's usually the mid-bass. But in this case, using like my test track, which is Chameleon for sub-bass, I found parts of the track to be really, really fatiguing. Uh, there's just too much low-end rumble for me. Um, I mean, and if you look at the graph, it just sort of like, it's a line up there. There's not a huge lot more on these than there is on things like the Cadenza or the Quintet by Kiwi Ears. But because the mid-bass rolls off, it puts all the emphasis on the low end, and I have found it fatiguing. Um, a good thing, or well, the best thing, in my opinion, is the actual aesthetics of these. I really like the aesthetics. I like aesthetics of Kiwi Ears, or most of Kiwi Ears stuff anyway. But this is sort of like this dual color, shiny. I'm not one for shiny finishes, but this is like shiny and purple and blue, and it's very difficult to capture on camera, but I really like the actual aesthetics of these IEMs. And the worst, although I do find the sub-bass fatiguing, to me the worst is above the upper mids upwards. So these have like a roll-off that starts, a big dip that starts from like halfway through the mid-bass and doesn't come back until like a thousand hertz, but then keeps climbing. And I find the upper mids to be a little hot, but as we get above the upper mids, I just find things to be just too present, too spicy, too... It just gives everything an overall... Because you're missing that mid bass and you've got that dip in the mids. It makes things just seem overly fragile and bright and tinny. And these are a dual uh, dynamic driver and a BA for the upper ranges. And it just has a bit of that metallic texture that reminds me of BAs from yesteryear. Which, which is a shame because I am a fan of Kiwi ears. I'm just not a great fan of this model. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. If you want to know more, check out the full review or go to more details. Link to the review in the description or head over to And I'll be back with another one soon. See you later. Mm -hmm.